Hi everyone, I'm Cheryl. In this problem, we're asked to find the volume of a solid of revolution. The solid is created by taking the circle x minus 5 quantity squared plus y squared equals 16 and revolving it around the y-axis. Now to help us visualize this, let's take a look at a 3D figure. We're going to take the circle and we're going to rotate it around the y-axis. So as we move around, you can see that a solid is created. And that solid is called a torus. It looks like a donut. Well, there are several ways we can calculate the volume of such a solid. One way is by using the washer method. A second way, by using the shell method. However, the theorem of Pappus gives us a third alternative for finding the volume of such a solid. In the theorem of Pappus, if we have a region that lies in a plane and an axis of rotation where the axis of rotation does not intersect the interior of the region, we can say that the volume is 2 pi times r. r is the distance from the centroid to the axis of rotation times the area of the region. Well, my particular problem fits that property or those stipulations perfectly. So let's go ahead and figure out what the centroid is for my circle. Well, the centroid for a circle is really easy. It's just the center of the circle. So my centroid is located at the point 5, 0. So what's the distance from the centroid to the axis of rotation? Well, we can see on our figure that that distance is 5. So my volume formula is 2 pi times 5 times the area of my region. Now the region is a circle. We have a geometry formula for that. The area of a circle is pi times the radius of the circle squared. The radius of this particular circle is 4. And now with a little arithmetic, we find out that the volume is 160 pi squared units cubed because we're measuring volume. I hope that was helpful. Thanks.